Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Of course, Pixel users are waiting for March 23 feature drop that's supposed to be released yesterday, but unfortunately it didn't. However, one of the sources contacted me and shared with me the internal documents they receive as retailers, and these documents include the list of features we should expect in March 23 feature drop, so I'm gonna share this information with you, plus I'm gonna give you hands-on experience to some of these features because I already have them on my Pixel phones. So if you are excited about this update, you can continue watching this video, and I will create another one once the update gets officially released. So let's take a look at what to expect in March 23 feature drop. Let's start with the most exciting change in this feature drop which is the availability of magic eraser on all pixel models starting from the original pixel this feature was only exclusive to the pixel 6 models and later but now it works on all models and here i have the pixel 2 xl to show you how it works so here's one of the photos i have and when i tap on edit as you see i have the magic eraser option and it's also available under tools when you tap on magic eraser it will take its time to find the suggestions but you will notice it's slower than the newer models of course because the processor here is much slower and as you see i have the suggestions tapping on erase all will take the action but it needs more time and once done you will get exactly the same quality you will get on other flagships or other google flagships like the pixel 7 pro no difference here and you can still uh, draw circles around other objects in the scene to remove them as well the second thing you can do with magic eraser is the camouflage feature which will allow you to mute the bright colors in the photo like this hat for example by drawing a circle around it and you will see the color will change to something less prominent now it has a gray color as you see you can also do the same thing for any bright color in the scene so i'm going to choose this uh, yellow circle and as you see, it's now muted as well. One more thing Google decided to give to all Pixel models is the new HDR tool for videos. So when you edit your video and then jump to adjust, you will see here a new option called HDR. Tapping on it will give you a slider, so you can choose the intensity. As you see here, the video becomes much brighter with more vivid colors, as if you recorded it in HDR 10 bit. So let's hit on the play button to see the difference. As you see, it becomes much better and by the way i created a separate video talking about how to get the magic eraser and the hdr tool for videos on ios devices and all other android phones next the health connect app is now a built-in feature on your pixel phone so for example when you go to settings and then tap on security and the privacy scroll all the way down then tap on more privacy settings you will find health connect over here which will allow you to activate the feature and this will give you the ability to synchronize your health and fitness data between different apps so you can have everything saved inside the health connect app and you can share this information with different apps and mix and match between them and you can see now on the screen the list of supported apps that works with the health connect feature when you tap on get started it will ask you for some permissions over here so i have some apps that work with health connect i have google fit i have the fitbit and health mate which is uh, the app for withings smart watches so when you activate that permission now health connect can read from my withings app and also from fitbit and google fit all together so i can mix and match what each app can read and write so here you have uh, allowed to read so you can read all these information from this app and allow the app to write all this information as well so you can uh, and modify the toggles the way you want the third expected feature in march 23 feature drop is the faster night sight which we first saw on the pixel 7 and 7 pro models just to give you a quick refreshment when you cover the lens here on the 7 pro it will give you less time when compared to older models and you can also choose the maximum time if you want this feature should be pushed to older models which are the pixel 6 and 6 pro but as per the leaks the 6a is not part of this feature even though it uses the same tensor chip so let's wait for the official release to see if that's actually the case feature number four is the enhanced direct my call feature this feature is already available for a long time and you can use it on the pixel 3a and later but what's new here is google will make it faster if you may know direct my call will simply show you the options you can select when you call businesses or toll free numbers on the screen so you can interact with them without the need to put the phone on your ears 
But what's new here is the options will be written on the screen before even spoken by the machine. So that will make the feature faster and it will be available on the Pixel 4a and later. Last but not least, the Pixel Watch fall detection will be part of March 23 feature drop. As per the leaks, the watch will be smart enough to understand the difference between a hard fall and a small trip. And when it detects a hard fall, it will wait for 90 seconds. If you didn't interact with the watch or didn't move, it will automatically contact the emergency services. And lastly, if you can't get help on your own, the Pixel Watch will share your location with the emergency services and your emergency contacts too. So that's pretty much it for today. This is all the information I have about March 23 feature drop. Please let me know in the comments if you knew anything about this update and wait for my upcoming video once it gets released. But for now, thank you so much for watching and see you the next video.